The 1911 platform is still alive and kicking over 100 years later, and has actually seen a lot of attention in 2023, with several major firearm companies putting their own various types of 1911 pistols into the bin for customers to choose from. Here's a first look at some of the most interesting 1911 handguns for 2023. We bet you haven't heard about a hybrid 1911 handgun. Stay tuned until the end to find out. Orc Alarms 2311 Kicking out fancier and more tactically inclined forms of the 1911 has become a bit of a craze lately, and this new pistol from Oracle Arms aims to take advantage of the ever-increasing popularity of 1911-style pistols. What at first appears to be akin to a modular frame double-stacked 1911 is actually something a bit different. Oracle Arms 2311 has some unique duty and competition features that make it an intriguing addition to the legacy of John Browning's original design. Sure, there's the time-tested 1911 action, but it's juiced with some pretty new SIG P320 DNA. The pistol has ambidextrous safety levers, a large magwell, and an extra-long beaver tail. The Oracle 2311 will be available in several models, ranging from compact to competition, and there's no doubt that many shooters are eager to get their hands on one of these new handguns. MSRP, $1,699 to $3,000. Voodoo Gunworks Mobius Voodoo Gunworks, the leader in precision rimfire rifles, breaks tradition to redefine the 1911. The Voodoo Mobius blends innovation, aerospace manufacturing techniques, and the personal touch of highly detailed craftsmen to reimagine an American classic while still honoring the excellent original John Browning design. The Mobius is currently available in three full-size models, chambered in either 9mm or 45 ACP. Appealing to the traditional 1911 fans, all three models will feature Voodoo Logo VZ grips, Novak sights, and will ship with three magazines. Now, for the twist. Staying true to our rimfire roots, the fourth model is a Target 22LR of the highest standard. The Target 22LR has its own proprietary adjustable sights, slide-mounted optic-ready pick rail, and ships with two magazines. The 22LR slide assembly with mag will also be available as a conversion kit to the standard Mobius 1911. Savage 1911 Savage Arms is taking aim at America's pistol, the 1911, with a new addition to its handgun lineup. The full-sized single-action government-style pistol, built with a forged stainless steel frame and slide, will be available in both 9mm and 45 ACP chamberings, though only the latter seems to be shipping now. The guns are fitted with a 5-inch barrel. There's a trio of finish options, bright stainless, black melanite, and two-tone, though all are built of stainless steel. Further model breakdowns will suit buyers with a choice of either a standard or railed frame. Hot features include adjustable Novak low-mount tritium iron sights, ambidextrous controls, nitride-coated titanium firing pins, and VZ G10 grips. There's also a flared and lowered ejection port, along with angular front and rear slide serrations. MSRP on the 1911s starts at $1,350 and reaches upwards of $1,500 for the railguns. Dan Wesson, DWX a modern spin on an old classic, the DWX combines the best DNA from the CZ-75 and John Browning's revered 1911. Featuring a locked breech barrel system, the DWX ditches the traditional 1911 barrel bushings, adds a full-length guide rod, and incorporates the easy CZ-style takedown. CZ's shooter-friendly ergonomics and generous double-stack mag capacity are there too. However, this gun has plenty of 1911 parts, including the mainspring, and a crisp, single-action trigger. The DWX runs in the popular 9mm and features a 5-inch match-grade barrel. It comes with a fiber-optic front sight and an adjustable rear sight. Unfortunately, this model isn't cut for an optic, so the company should probably brace for a slew of disgruntled internet complaints. The pistol was originally designed for the competition field, but Dan Wesson has also promised a DWX compact model. Built to use a shorter 4-inch barrel and a slightly more compact overall length, the DWXC should appease the concealed carry crowd once it's released. 
Springfield Armory, 1911, DS Prodigy. Why can't I have a 1911 with the same capacity of all these fancy polymer-framed guns? Well, Springfield Armory has answered that question in the form of the 1911 DS Prodigy pistol. From everything like a black Cerakote finish to a match-grade bushingless forged stainless steel bull barrel, this pistol is built to run hard and be surgically accurate at the same time. Also, you will have all the rounds on board that you could possibly need. You get both a 17 plus 1 and 20 plus 1 magazines from the factory with the option to also buy 26 plus 1 magazines direct from Springfield Armory if you so choose. Two versions of the 1911 DS Prodigy are available with either a 4 and a quarter inch or 5 inch barrel. The match grade bull barrels are made from forged stainless steel and have a 1 to 16 twist rate. Both the slide and the frame are made from forged carbon steel which is topped off with black Cerakote. The slide includes deep serrations at the front and rear portions, as well as a pre-cut section on top to accept a large range of different red dot optics. Thanks to the use of agency optics system plates designed specifically for the pistols. A U-notch steel rear and green fiber optic front sight are also included from the factory. The frame includes a single Picatinny slot machined into the dust cover, flared magazine well, and textured polymer grip panel. Controls include extended ambidextrous thumb safeties, an extended beaver tail grip safety, skeletonized trigger shoe and hammer, as well as a standard M1911 magazine release and slide release. Both the 4 and a quarter inch and 5 inch barreled versions have a suggested retail price of $1,499. Both are also offered in package deals, with Hex Dragonfly Red Dot Optics included for $1,699. Rock Island Armory RIA 5.0 The RIA 5.0 is one of the most flawlessly engineered sporting pistols you'll find. It features a patented RVS recoil system engineered to maximize barrel mass and linear movement for super soft recoil. It has a buttery smooth trigger for greater accuracy in rapid fire situations and a two piece modular grip frame for flexibility and control. The gun is unnaturally nose-heavy. The forward portion of the pistol is a massive aluminum frame cut into a Picatinny rail. The front-heavy architecture combines with the rest of this radically innovative stuff to do some of the most delightful things to the gun's recoil characteristics. The micro-hammer assembly is spunky enough to ensure reliable ignition, while offering a trigger personality in keeping with a finely tuned 1911. The overall effect, just like everything else about the 5.0, is just so refreshingly different. It's not really a 1911, and it's definitely not a striker-fired Glock. The 5.0 is indeed an entirely new experience on the range. Backed by extensive testing, its fit and performance will make it hard to shoot anything else. Plus, it's made right here in the USA.